let me show you how to use the drop down option on Google Forms right now. So follow me to my desktop. What's up, everyone? This is George from Noob, and I'm going to show you how to add the drop down option on Google Forms. It's a really easy to follow tutorial, so you won't get lost. OK, so this is my Google Forms dashboard, and we're going to get started with a blank form to show you how to use this option. Now we're going to go through all the settings, so bear with me. OK, so first off, we're going to be greeted with the form builder. The first thing we want to do is select the drop down choice right here. Now, on drop down choice, it seems pretty simple in the beginning, but there's several options that I want to show you that you can take advantage of. So first off, what is the question going to be about? Let me add a simple question here. For example, what is your favorite color? So it's a simple question. We can do bold italic for this particular title of this option, and I can add an image to this. And then we have the options here in the bottom. So I'll just say a few colors right here. For example, red, blue, green, etc. All right. So I have these options right here. Now it seems straightforward. Let me show you how this looks right now in the preview. So we're going to get started with the email and then we have the drop down options. So we have our colors right here and we have the question, but we can do a little bit more with this drop down option. So the options that we have right here are on the right. First of all, we can make it required. We can go to options and, for example, add a description in case we want to add something under the title of this section. Now that's optional. You don't have to do it. We can go ahead and remove this. And then we have the option to go to section based on answers, which is pretty interesting. Now, let me add some sections here to give you an idea how we can use this. For example, I'll use a section here. I'll add another one and one more. All right. So sections turns your Google form into steps and we can take advantage of the option that they select by jumping into certain steps. So, for example, in this step, I am going to add this short answer and section next. Next, again, I'm going to add another short answer and the last one again, another short answer. Now for this, let me add the title for this answer really quickly. I'll just say three, two and one. This way we can locate it. Now, based on your drop down option here, we can continue to a section. Remember, you can enable this right here. Go to section based on answer. So the first one, if they say they like yellow, I can take them exactly to the section one. If they choose red, I'll take them to section two. If they choose blue section three and four if they choose green or the last option would be just continue to the next section. OK, which would be section two in this case. In this case, it's one should be this one right here. OK, so let me give you an idea of how this works. Let's go into the preview. Now, in this case, I will add a test email for testing purposes. Here we go. And then I'm going to choose, for example, yellow. It should take me to this section again, because remember, we said section one. But if we choose red, it'll take me to section two. When I go to the next section, here we go. Section one. Let's choose blue. Section two. Let's choose green. It'll take me section three. Now, these sections can be at. You can add more of the choices here. Change the drop down to add another drop down. Change the different type of options. For example, paragraph check boxes, drop boxes, etc. And depending on what they select here, you can take them to certain sections. Take, for example, let's just say that this was a business form where you wanted to redirect people to the section that they actually need. For example, if they needed support for something, you would go, for example, sales, accounting, storage, etc. right here, and you would take them to the next section of the questions based on what they select. So it's a pretty cool way to take them to a certain section based on what they select. And the last one is shuffle option order. So that means that it's going to be shuffled every single time that someone views this form. That way, it's not the same every single time. For example, these colors will be reflected in different sections every time that someone opens this form. So it's another option that you can take advantage of. And you got duplicate and delete options. So that's for the drop down option here on Google Forms. Now, once you're ready, you can go ahead and preview this, change the customized theme and send it out. So that means that you can send this via email share a link or embed it on a website. Now, if you're looking for something more advanced, that's really good. Then I recommend that you check out job form. They also have a drop down option that has more flexibility and more options that you can take advantage of. And they also have a replan. So to do this, just go to create a form. We can use a bunch of templates here or start from scratch. Classic form. 
and in classic form we'll go to the add form elements in this section we're going to find the drop down option all you have to do is drag it in add the title add the options right here just type in three, four, five example or the colors in the past example and if we click on this gear icon there's several options that we could take advantage of for example we can choose a label the alignment the make it required options available here for example the width the options you can write them right here also predefined options just a whole bunch of settings that you can take advantage of and advance now to jump to certain sections like you would on google forms you can do that with settings and conditions so in conditions you can show and hide fields or skip or hide a page so you can do everything that you could do with google forms but way more so it's up to you if you want to check out google forms and use the drop down here or check out forms over there at jot form well i thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out and that's a wrap